Chocolate story, which is a good interactive sort of toured walkthrough in there. Um, it wasn't really what I was expecting it to be, but it was a really good experience. We get a lot of samples in there to try as well, which is just adds to it. There's a lot um, of, of different areas in there. So you stop for the bit of pre show, and it's like the, the chocolate, which is like the first type of chocolate. It's a liquid, and it was created by the Aztecs, and it's it's a little bit bitter, but the thing is, it's not really, it doesn't really taste like much, but it smells really nice, like a sort of hot chocolate. Um, and yeah, I had to try like this little mint chocolate, which was just pure cocoa nib. That was at the start, in the first room, you've got like an old building opposite uh, the theming. Um, but yeah, you watch a little pre-show on the screen. Then you move on to the next pre-show where you've got all the different creators of round trees, because that's what this is, um, and how they all join together. Um, like five of them joined together to create one um, large company with a factory um, to produce the chocolate and you're in these picture frames and you, know, you watch a little pre-show um, where it introduces them and, and how they all made it and you get to um, and you also you, when you go into the first room you get a little sample bag as well the Kit Kat humbug and the little mint chocolate which you have to try in the first room um, but then you go into this main like big open sort of space um, where you get like the process um, you get these interactive features you get to try the cocoa and it's which are quite bitter but quite nice and then the strongest darkest chocolate in the world which are these little buttons that you get and they are bitter but um I don't know, you know they're, 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 they're nice and they are they there's no sugar or or milk added to them. Um, and then you get like the Kit Kat walkthrough. There's like various other different flavors of Kit Kats. I did manage to get a bit of filming in there. And then um, you move on um, to make a little chocolate lolly, which I might put a, a picture in at the end. Um, and then you get um, you get to watch the demonstration. A little apple uh, toffee apple chocolate ganache, which tastes really nice you get to see them mate in the molds and then um uh and then emptying it you get like the well um you have to cause chocolate rain which makes a, a little um like the hollow shell of it and then you you fill it in and then you you get the chocolate ganache on the inside which is really nice um and then um you you can have a bit of a walk through around the um the all the historical aspects again um and and yeah and you, you can leave but you can sort of spend as long as you like in there um and on the chocolate lollies you get to see how the different machines and you get to put as many different toppings as you like on them um but before you go into the main rooms actually after the like the pre-show there's another little pre-show and there's like 
a 70 year old box of black magic chocolate um, in, in a little case which um, well it's quite impressive I mean it's a little uh, it's one of the first types of chocolate that Round Trees created um, but you can see the, the um, a 70 year old box of them in there um, and it's um, it's all just uh, like a little kind of viewing area with the different creators of it um, in there. Well, so this is my second attraction of the day after the dungeon. Um, but tomorrow I'm doing Web Adventure Park and Yorbit Viking Centre. And Monday I'm going to Flamingo Land, which I can't wait for. Um, but I'm going to about to do my second half of the review from the dungeon. Um, because I couldn't film it, because I had to get down here really quick um, and get into the lift and get the guided tour. But you, you do follow a tour guide throughout the whole experience, which is fantastic. Because um, it gives a lot of information on what um, a lot of the history, because it is one of the most historical chocolate companies, Round Trees, um, which, um, yeah, you, it, it, it was the main pioneers was York for, for creating chocolate and of course we got to see the different history of what they added to it over the years. It started off as a liquid and then um, became obviously the Aztec times and then um, it's now one of the most popular and something else as well. Um, we only did a little sample but we had a Kit Kat and that's why the Kit Kat was a big part, part of the history in that main room. Um, he went listed off all the different flavours that they have in Japan. There's 200. Um, there's I, there's not anywhere near as many in the UK. I think there's there's quite a few, but um, but it's actually the third biggest selling chocolate bar in the UK. Um, yeah, no, that, that that was in like the sort of third pre-show before the main open room where you get to make the chocolate and see the demonstration. Um, but I really enjoyed that. Something really unique. I didn't really know what to expect, but that was incredible.